Okay, today's video we're going to talk about if you're running Bing slash Microsoft ad campaigns, you'll get to the point in the settings menu there, you'll have to decide if you want to choose the entire Microsoft audience network or Microsoft sites and select traffic. I'm going to explain what the differences are but real quickly between these two and which one you want to pick for more profits both short and long term. So there's definitely a strategy to go along with this that this is not gonna be what your typical person will pick, but this is what you're gonna to wanna to pick if you're gonna want more money long term, we'll just say. So I'm gonna explain why that is on this video. So if you're wondering which of these two options uh, to choose, there are two key differences between these two. The entire Microsoft Audience Network, as they call it, will actually get you on Bing, MSN, Outlook, AOL, DuckDuckGo, and then tons of other crappier search partner sites, which I won't list here, that are not real legitimate search engines. And it'll, it'll show up like on CNN.com if somebody goes to the search bar and then type something in and then the results will be your ads there if you choose this. Uh, plus, of course, the audience network ads, which are just display ads that are gonna show up across the web on you know potentially millions of different websites. That's something that's new that Bing forces you to get on, but there's a way to exclude that, which I'm gonna explain in a moment. So that's the entire Microsoft audience network. Your other option, if you don't want to go this direction, is to go the Microsoft Sites and Select Traffic option, which the main difference there is you're going to show up, in that case, if you choose that, on Bing, MSN, Outlook, which are all Microsoft properties, plus the Audience Network ads, which are your display ads that are going to show up across the web again. Okay, so most people are going to tell you that you should go with this one because this there's a lot of sites on here that don't work and that is true but what I have got to tell you here is to the contrary if you just do this you're missing out on all this scrumptious AOL excuse me yes I meant to say AOL sorry AOL traffic and the DuckDuckGo traffic which if you did not know AOL is 3% of the search engine advertising search market. So in other words, people using search engines uh, nationwide or worldwide is 3% of the people go to AOL. Excuse me, that's, that's also not correct. I screwed this up. Yahoo. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yahoo is the one that's 3% of the search market. So um, with that one, You'll miss, if, if you do the Microsoft Sites and Select Traffic, you'll miss out on the Yahoo traffic, which is 3% of the worldwide searches by a search engines. You'll also mix, miss out on DuckDuckGo, which is between one but closer to 2% of the searches out there on any search engine. And uh, AOL is 0 0.06, by the way. And then this MSN and Outlook is not very much. But anyway, the main difference here is you're not that you're missing out with doing this one, Microsoft search and select traffic, versus the entire Microsoft audience network, is you're not gonna get Yahoo and DuckDuckGo, which is 5% of the searches on all search engines. Which, if you're doing a couple million a year in sales from search engine ads, you're talking about losing, you know, 40 grand a year, or excuse me, two million, that would be 100 grand a year and sales because you did not choose simply this option over this option. Of course it comes at a price because you're gonna show up on these other uh, crappier search network sites like CNN, like I mentioned, you'll show up there if somebody uses the search bit, uh, bar on CNN.com. But it's you're not gonna miss out as much it'll, or in other words, it'll be outweighed by the benefits you get by showing up on Yahoo and DuckDuckGo which will give you another 5% potential action on search, on search engines people actually use to look for your products or services 
itself. So that said, the reason why also other people are not going to uh, mention to use this one versus uh, these Microsoft sites and select traffic is because if you technically ran these side by side, you're going to find out the return is actually better here than here initially until you've ran your ads for a while. The way that I always run my search ads, and I've told people on this channel several times, is I'll start out always running bids, uh, my bidding strategy with enhanced CPC bidding. Not manual bidding, but enhanced CPC bidding so I can get some machine learning activity going behind the, you know, what, uh, behind my campaigns right away. Once I get at least 30, 40, 50 different conversions in my account, then I'll usually switch to the automated bidding maximize conversions, maximize conversion value, one or the other. So that I'm able to shoot for a target cost per conversion or target ROAS or slash ROI that I want. And the algorithm is going to be able to push even more machine learning capability behind getting me a better and better return on my budget. Better than I could get with enhanced CPC bidding because they could optimize at the user level which they do some of that with enhanced CPC bidding, but they do it even more with the auto, automated bidding strategies where you're doing target CPA or target ROAS bidding, basically. And so when you're starting out and you have no data and you're using the enhanced CPC bidding, if you're going to copy my strategy, I recommend to you, which I've managed hundreds of campaigns. We've tested all the bidding strategies, way that each one works, when's the best time to switch over from one to the other and so forth. If you start out with the enhanced CPC bidding on both of these, this one right here is gonna get you a much better ROI because you're not gonna show up on these shitty sites too, even though you're showing up on Yahoo and DuckDuckGo. However, when you switch over to your automated bidding strategies, even though you get on all these other shittier sites with this one at first, the entire Microsoft audience network at with that at one at first, the automated bidding is gonna realize they can't get you a return on those shittier sites and they're gonna stop doing less of it, as I personally noticed. Uh, and then the return with this one will go start going up. It won't be as, as bad. And it'll do it aggressively because all it, the algorithm has to do is start shutting off the action on some of these other sites to get your target cost per uh, lead or target cost per sale slash ROAS at the one that you pay, you basically set. So it'll try to get you a return on these other sites, but when it can, it'll shut it off and then push more spend at the sites that are getting you a return. Because it wants you to spend more money and they know if they waste your money on these other sites, you'll never be willing to spend more on Bing itself, which is still their key revenue jet, uh, uh, source. So this one will not outperform this one until you've gotten you know, 100 plus conversions already. And you've switched over to automated bidding. And then this one will pull away than this one. And your overall return on this one's going to be much better. You're going to get more sales and more profit out of this one by far than you're going to get out of this one long term. To the point where you'll make an extra 10, 20% more with this one than this one. Because you got this extra bit of search engine action, which is not that competitive itself. You're not paying near as much for a click on these sites because it's not as competitive. Because most people are going to go with this one. So therefore, the amount of competition on Yahoo and DuckDuckGo is very, very low. So you can get cheap conversions there. That's why you're going to get an extra 15% more sales on Bing slash Microsoft ads, choosing this one versus this one. So that's why I put here, uh, this is a much better option, at least long term, short term, not so much. So don't get, don't be a weenie, in other words, and be the person who says, oh, I'm not getting a return after one week. I'm shutting this down right now. I have to shut it down. Because that's what people that never make any money with PPC do. They think it's a light switch. I'm going to turn something on in terms of online advertising. I'm going to turn it on. I'm instantly going to get rich. Oh, I'm not instantly rich. I'm shutting it back off again. And then they think that because it doesn't get them rich right away, it doesn't work. And that's loser mentality, okay? Ultimately, 
With the advent of online advertising, because you can track online advertising so easily, they think that it should instantly get a return, which people that advertised before online ads never thought that way. They did to some degree, I will admit, for sure they did to some degree, but they didn't think that if after one week, if something doesn't work, they're shutting it off again. That's not the way people thought. They might do it two or three months, but not to this extreme. The algorithms that Microsoft slash Bing have and Google has and Facebook has use the previous data that they have about what worked and what didn't work and the people that did convert, what are their traits? What did they do before they searched? What did they do before they saw this ad? To learn how to get you more and more of a return. And if you don't give the algorithms any damn data or any chance to get you a return, you're not gonna ever get rich off of these algorithms. You might as well just fucking stop what you're doing and then just give up now because it doesn't work this way. Not a, so many people don't understand this, mainly because they don't wanna think that it takes time. It takes time. The people that are making millions of dollars on their ads started out losing money with their ads until they got an initial traction with it and they built up a minimum amount of data in their account so that they could finally break even, which might be three, six, nine, 12 months into the process already. They invested an amount that they could afford to stomach and lose right away to get to profitability. And then from there, each year they started making more and more and more. And five years down the road, they're making $3 million a year from that ad account. You know, and the, what they're making per month pays for the entire six months that they had to use to build it up to profitability. That's how you need to be thinking about this stuff if it's gonna work. As it per, uh, pertains to what I talked about today, you could go the short thinking route and not get all your return, or you could go this way, realize you're gonna, what you're gonna earn long-term off of this one is gonna completely pay off what you're gonna lose uh, up front until it's profitable you know, with this one basically to the point where this is literally nothing what you're gonna lose here, uh, in terms of what you're gonna save here, should I say, that what you're gonna lose if you don't do this one and you lose your sales forever on Yahoo and DuckDuckGo. So respectively, if you wanted a little bit of a middle ground, you could run one campaign with this targeted option, one campaign with this targeted option, run this one with a bigger budget, run this one with a smaller budget. Say you do $50 a day with this one, $10 a day with this one. This one gets a, to be profitable in a month. This one takes four months to be profitable, but it has way more legs behind it. So that in that, whatever, this one finances the buildup of this one, and eventually you can shut this one off and just run this one, if you get my point. This is a very common strategy we use with our clients. We start with the most profitable strategies. And we use those to finance strategies that not, they're profitable, but they take more runway to get working. And, and in that, you can build up to millions and millions in sales because most of your competition either want to return right away or they don't want it. And you're going to be investing in the future. It's just like investing in your business. You could say, I'm not going to take any risks or do anything unless it gets me a return instantly. And if you do that, you're always going to stay small. You have to reinvest your money to grow your business. And a lot of things don't get instant returns. It, you know, hiring an employee, what? It takes six months for that, for that employee is probably productive, right? You got to train them up. And then eventually, and you're taking a risk because they could quit at six months and you lost all your money, right? This, you should, that's how you got to think about this. This is just no different. So that all said, as a side note here, Either option, you're gonna get all these display audience network ads that are gonna show up on other websites, these banner ads and so forth, regardless of what option you choose here. I've got a video that I made about 15 videos ago that you can see or so that gives you a 12,000 ex uh, placement exclusion list that you can apply to your campaigns that'll immediately get rid of 99.9% .9 of your audience network clicks, which usually will burn up 20, 30% of your budget. So what, and once you apply that to your negative ex, uh, placement exclusion list on your account, you'll make 20, 30% better return. So that right there covers any potential loss you'd have to go with this to get the long-term return and then some. 
So anyway, I just wanted to throw that in there in terms of talking about you know Bing slash Microsoft today, and uh, what you should be doing since that'll you know slow the you know bleeding so to say, and you won't have to show up at, on as many sites going with this option, and of course even even less sites going with this option still. But anyway, that's that's certainly I would go with this one if you, as long as you have plenty of money. You're not worried about saving a few bucks because this one, if you go full this one right away, you're going to get to the re bigger return quicker than splitting the budget between these two and eventually switching to this one. All you're doing is delaying the future big return that you're going to get by going half and half. If you don't have so much money, then that's the time you go mostly this one and a little bit with this one and then eventually switch over to this one six months in or something like that. So anyway, that's the main thing I could go uh, tell you about these... Um, there's two different options here. If you like the video, I'd appreciate it if you would give a like to the video and consider subscribing as I have a ton of other videos on this channel about how to make money with online advertising, Google, Facebook, and so forth, given to you by somebody who has 17 years of experience running ads and somebody who manages about 50 different ad accounts at any given time for clients. I give you the stuff on this channel that works as well as the stuff that doesn't work. So you can make millions of dollars with your ads. It's the best information you're gonna find on YouTube, I promise you, on how to, practical information on how to make money with ads. So, and if you like the channel here, uh, you should also check out my blog at garrettppc.com slash blog. I've got lots of tips there you could use to make millions of dollars with your ads for your company as well. Beyond that, uh, if you have, first of all, if you have any questions, or would like some help with your PPC, have any quick questions, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves a comment on this channel, usually within a couple days time. And if you need any help with your ads, want to, you want somebody to just do it all for you, you don't have time to do this stuff, the stuff works, this takes time to do it. This is what I do at my firm for clients. We guarantee all the work that we do in that if we are gonna charge you several thousand dollars a month for our services, we'll give you several, several thousand dollars more profit on top of what you're making right now before we charge you anything. Now we don't take on every client. You gotta have a good foundation of on, you, you know, underneath your company, a good product or service that will work and that we know we could do well with. But if we look at what you have and we know we can get good results with it, we'll give you the first bit of results for free and then we'll start charging our fee. So we aren't the cheapest, but it's the best you're gonna find and we'll give you the first little bit of results for free uh, along with that. So reach out to me. I'll, I'd be glad to evaluate your campaigns and see if we can work for and with you and give you an estimate of how much results we can provide you both short and long term, as well as the price we would charge uh, when we start charging it, so to say. So that said, glad you watched my video. Hope to see you in my next video where we have another great strategy for you there. See you later.